in ray optics we are going to take up the concept of reflection of light on spherical mirrors in fact you people all know most of the concepts of spherical mirrors as far as reflection that is concerned they are all similar even when you talk about refraction taken in the case of lenses similarity not equality remember that and spherical mirrors while taking up we used to consider a concave mirror and a convex mirror this concave mirror is capable of producing both real and virtual images that is what is called as a convergent mirror and the second one is convex mirror which of course is called divergent mirror and that can only produce virtual images we cannot get a real image by that and out of these two some common features we have to remember the mirror formula whatever we take up is 1 by u plus 1 by v is 1 by f that's common for both the mirrors and even common for the image whether it is real or virtual that is formed by the mirror but what makes the difference while dif taking up or discussing different problems one should be in a position to write the correct cartesian convention new convention what we people used to follow is in the direction of the incident ray all the distances are to be taken positive and the distances are to be measured from the pole of the mirror and opposite to the direction of the incident ray all the distances are to be taken negative when you take this particular concept while discussing about real image formation in the case of a concave mirror you can understand well object distance u image distance v and even focal length that is f all the three are taken against the direction of the ray of incidence so naturally all the three values are to be taken with a negative sign therefore if you apply that mirror formula for concave mirror when the image formed over there is real that can be written as minus 1 by f is equal to minus 1 by u minus 1 by v in general we can write that one now as 1 by f is equal to 1 by u plus 1 by v when you are finding a virtual image formation in the case of same concave mirror then no doubt f will be taken negative u also will be taken negative but the image is going to be formed behind the mirror in the direction of incident ray we used to take its distance therefore we take that value of v as positive so how to write this mirror formula in the case of a concave mirror when the image is formed over there as virtual by nature then what is the equation 1 by u that's with a negative sign plus 1 by v is equal to 1 minus 1 by f that particular convention one should be thorough with while doing different problems based on concave mirror if you consider convex mirror never it used to give real images always the image formed by convex mirror is virtual by nature and thereby what you people used to observe in this case is excepting the object distance the other two distances are to be taken positive so what you can write there minus 1 by u plus 1 by v is equal to 1 by f that is the way we people used to write by considering new cartesian system that is of course a convention what we people used to take and in addition to this one magnification or magnifying power of a mirror when we discuss that one 
no doubt magnification m is equal to size of the image by size of the object which we write generally as h 2 by h 1 or you can even write image distance by object distance that again we people used to write it as v by u. For concave mirror the image of course, may be formed over there smaller than the size of the object equal to the size of the object or greater than the size of the object all the three possibilities we will be finding in the case of a concave mirror. Thereby, magnification may be either less than 1 or is equal to 1 or even may be greater than 1 also. But in this regard one more point we have to remember as far as the convention that is concerned while writing the magnifying power. The concept is quite simple if the image formed over there is real then magnification will be taken negative. That means, if the image is formed upside down or inverted magnification should be written with a negative sign. If the image is formed erect with respect to the object then we people used to consider that magnifying power or magnification as positive. So, what we should understand while writing magnification as far as sign convention that is concerned the image if it is formed above the principal axis then the magnification is going to be positive that is virtual image formation I am talking about with respect to the object if the image is erect by nature then magnification will be taken positive. With respect to the object if the image is formed inverted upside down then we people is to take that magnification with a negative sign. And another point to be noted as far as convention that is concerned all the distances above the principal axis are taken positive all the distances below the principal axis are to be taken negative distance in this particular sense is nothing other than height. Suppose object is placed that definitely will be placed on the principal axis in the above means above the principal axis you will be finding its size. So, that size of that object when you consider that value should be taken positive and image suppose is formed upside down that definitely will be below the principal axis its size will be below the principal axis. In such cases those distances or heights below the principal axis we people used to consider that one with a negative sign. So, while doing the problem if you people are perfect and thorough with the conventional signs whether it is in the case of a concave mirror or in the case of a convex mirror the result of course, is going to be perfect. You will definitely be getting the correct answer what is required for that particular problem. Therefore, one should be perfect with this particular convention what we people are following in this topic. If you are perfect with this convention same convention will be repeated even in the case of lenses as well. The method of taking the convention is same that time in the case of refraction of light through lenses the points are going to be much more easier for all of you to remem remember. Therefore, let us work out the problems based on these conventional signs taking them carefully here. I am doing here some of the questions over one after the other rather and each question I read out and we are going to discuss the important features related to that and we shall directly work out each and every number one after the other. Let me just take the very first problem what we people are having. The first problem says an object is placed at a distance x 1 from the principal focus of a concave mirror on its principal axis. Object is placed at a certain distance fine usually object distance and even image distance are measured directly from the pole of the mirror. But in this particular problem he is giving both the distances from the principal focus of the mirror. So, he is talking about 
an object is placed at a distance x 1 from the principal focus of a concave mirror on its principal axis. The image is formed at a distance x 2 from the principal focus. The focal length of the mirror is how much? The options are given this way. The first option is x 1 x 2. Second option is x 1 plus x 2 by 2 that is average like. Third option is root under x 1 by x 2 and fourth option is square root of x 1 into x 2 the product of x 1 and x 2 under root that is the fourth option. But the moment you read this one you can easily get your mind it is Newton's formula. When the distances to the object as well as the image are taken from the principal focus of the concave mirror as x 1 and x 2, then the focal length of that mirror f is equal to square root of x 1 x 2 that is the general formula one should remember. But okay, let us work out the even that value also. If I take 1 by u plus 1 by v is equal to 1 by f because object is real, image also is real like he is talking about and of course, we know pretty well in this particular case focal length of that mirror what has been given is to be taken negative. When all the three are negative by nature 1 by f is equal to 1 by u plus 1 by v prevails as it is. So, I now can write 1 by u plus 1 by v is equal to 1 by f that is the mirror formula for us. What are these two distances now to be taken according to the given values look at that one 1 by I write this one f minus x 1 this is 1 by f minus x 2 that now is going to be 1 by f. So, this is the way we people used to work out by taking u and v according to the given values of x 1 and x 2. Now, if you rewrite the same this way f minus x 2 plus f minus x 1 whole divided by f minus x 1 into f minus x 2 is equal to 1 by f. Now, simply cross multiply this equation first. This is already 2 f into f it is now becomes a 2 f square here fine. Now, minus f x 2 minus f x 1 that now is going to be f square minus f x 2 minus f x 1 minus into minus plus x 1 x 2. Now, on both sides minus f x 1 you can cancel minus f x 2 you can cancel. Bring this f square this side so that you will be left with f square it is 2 f square minus f square that now becomes f square that is equal to x 1 x 2. What is the focal length of the mirror that is the question. So, f now becomes square root of x 1 x 2 that is the correct equation, but actually this I have reminded you how to just acquire this result, but in reality this particular concept comes under Newton's formula. If you can remember that Newton's formula directly it is a very simple concept focal length is equal to root of x 1 x 2 when x 1 and x 2 are the distances to the object as well as the image from the principal focus of the concave mirror. So, this is the equation of course, for frequency this one focal length in terms of object distance and image distance which are measured from the principal focus of the concave, concave mirror. Now, this value this equation in fact is in coincidence with the fourth option provided to us in the problem. So, uh, we can write directly the answer for this particular problem as D. So, this is the methodology one should remember and this is the ultimate formula this also is called 
as Newton's formula. So, remember this one directly as Newton's formula so that you can avoid this type of calculation in the examination. So, this is the first problem what we are having in this order.